Morning guys, right and girls, uh, this was really uh, such a good setup of three candle reversal here that it was worth a um, video because there's quite a few things on this chart that are uh, useful to bring to your attention. I mean firstly, uh, it's a perfectly valid beautiful three candle reversal but as you can see you have a uh, area of um, supply and demand here or a battleground if you like uh, which you can clearly see if you put um, put uh, the line chart on and you are trading into this monster and I say monster because it is um, it has it is what I consider to be uh, the stronger or major support level because it has uh, forced price below a previous um, low as it were so lower low so um, you know if we draw a, a connection point across these here we've even got that one there that uh, caused this uh, problem here uh, then uh, we can clearly see what is causing creating a problem with price three uh, highs here so you could move that level up now we're on the the candle chart <clears throat> and you can see clearly what has happened now the other interesting part about this um, well let's continue with this one first firstly this is a great example as I've uh, mentioned on Twitter of why you should not just trade the low of three just the break of three now the only sort of caveat or possible uh, time you can trade those uh, breaks is when you're in a very volatile uh, point in the market uh, like uh, London Open or um, Frankfurt Open or whatever you know on a five minute one minute chart possibly even a 15 minute chart but uh, you know I don't trade breaks as a rule and a 15 minute chart break would probably have been a good uh, run of swing four pullback in other words on the five and the one minute so I hope that makes sense. The other thing to mention in this, which is obvious, <coughs> excuse me, to me, but I don't mention it enough, is that if this was a 15 minute chart, you would expect this to bounce around quite a few times, potentially, uh, doing the old algorithmic uh, manipulation or um, distribution accumulation, whichever you want to call it. Uh, I prefer to think of it that the algos driving this. So, um, yeah, I mean you might have four or five candles involved in this, so always remember that. Don't uh, drop down the time frame on a daily, for example, and look at this and think, oh yeah, H4, do, 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 do. Uh, really, really concentrate on what's going on there. So whilst I've marked this stop level, that's just for, it's not because I'm in the trade or, or you should be in the trade, you should categorically not be in the trade, but it's another piece of information that people don't always get. That's swing one. That swing two, back up the pullback as a as a uh, as a result of this probably breaking that support there. That's the pullback. That's um, swing three and the close. So in this one, this will be a lower time frame, something like an H four um, uh, reversal down, and that was the resulting uh, pullback as a result of the H four down. I'm not going to swap time frames on this one because it gets too complicated. But you understand what I'm saying okay so uh, categorically on the higher time frames especially do not consider trading the break it's lazy that's all there is to it other thing to notice about this is you weren't over bought uh, actually you were I do apologize uh, my eyes deceive me I didn't see that little 40 level stuck in there um, but it wasn't a fast move down when you had the 3 CR it was um, at that point, yes, of course, but what you want to see is green to red. Okay, fast moves. Um, if in in a perfect world, and that would happen on the lower time frames, of course, because of the volatility. But um, whilst that is uh, tempting, it's not even below the zero line, or if it is, it's not substantially below the zero line. Yet, yeah. no, it's not actually, is it? It's 0.49 above by the looks of it difficult to get the old mouse on there it's not gonna play oh yeah yeah so it is above zero that would be a minus figure if it was below I think yeah so uh, lots wrong with this in order to short it 
uh, into that uh, support and resistance, supply and demand, whatever you want to call it. And then um, also um, you have this situation here that you can compare it with. And that's what I always suggest you do. While you're waiting for setups to uh, to um, fulfill themselves, always look at other examples. I mean, here's a great example of a day one uh, long trade or long example. And it has... Um, it has done the three candle reversal and there we go two days worth of uh, of um, messing around and um, then it's finally continued up so we're on our second day of messing around remember we're not closed so we've got a whole day of messing around potentially and then it might come down but I would not want to be trading you can trade internal uh, ones of course you know five minute 15 minute longs and stuff on here um, because this would have uh, confirmed up on uh, potentially H4 now and uh, pulled back which was what that tail was and then potentially gone long so you know always look at other examples and you will you will sort of educate yourself mid trade as it were here is another brilliant example for us and this is a better example because there's three candle reversal uh, a little pullback lots and lots of volatility in this move here and um, and then you can clearly see you've got uh, red to uh, continue the trade on whereas this didn't go red at all it was red on the uh, 3CR and that was it so big difference between this one and what's happened here this has pulled back uh, a little bit and then um, and then uh, potentially continued down it closed red anyway that's the point I'm making we're well below the uh, the um, uh, the zero line as it were and um, then it go it just crashes so and also while I think of it I did think of this before the video you have got a string of green that is the perfect um, scenario to trade against this is not perfect far from it okay so um, hopefully that has had some use these are just uh, labels on here for uh, people that are relatively new to what I'm doing. Candle 1 is your penultimate high. In other words, this is higher than it. Candle A is actually an inside bar. This candle A, you can have as many as you like of these as long as they don't uh, fulfill the highest high and uh, close below the low. Otherwise, this would have been uh, the, the scenario if this had come down. This would have been candle 3. 1, penultimate high, high and low and close below that low and that would have been three and then you would have been doing the whole thing again so numerous candles wait for wait, wait for them to play out and then uh, any number of candles here as well um, because this one it can pierce the low of uh, of one and two but if it doesn't close it does not represent a candle three okay so um hopefully that has clarified a few few things with the three candle reversals for you as well and don't trade the break always wait for the pullback and this this is actually what you expect and I mentioned this before it happened way before it happened before this candle even closed watch for the bounce and uh, lo and behold it happened and uh, because that is the accumulation phase that is where they capture liquidity into the market before either reversing with all the short people and taking them out or um, taking all the potential long trades out as well by forcing it down so that's that thanks for watching have a good day